Jesus said, wherever two or three gather together in my name, there I am with them. Even though we are not physically gathered together, we join our hearts and minds. And so welcome to worship in God's house. We begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Joshua chapter 19, the second part of verse 9. And the word of the Lord came to him, What are you doing here, Elijah? What are you doing here? Here was Mount Horeb. It was far, far away from Mount Carmel where Elijah had been just a few days before. Remember on Mount Carmel there was that great showdown between Elijah and the prophets of Baal. You build an altar to your God, I'll build an altar to my God. We'll see which God answers and that is the true God. And of course the true God, the God of Elijah, the God of Scripture, our God, answered in a very dramatic way. It was a tremendous victory. Elijah was on top of the world. Then Queen Jezebel sent a message to Elijah promising that she would kill him. Elijah was afraid, and so he ran, and he ran, and he ran, until he came to Mount Horeb. What are you doing here, Elijah? Maybe you're asking a similar question, not what are you doing here, but what am I doing here? What am I doing here at home? I shouldn't be here. I should be at school with all of my friends. I should be competing in forensics. I should be performing in spring concerts. I should be playing my spring sport. What am I doing here? And for some of you, this has been very difficult. And it's almost like your world is crashing down around you and everything is spinning out of control. For others, this is okay. And maybe you kind of enjoy it. It's kind of fun. But there will come that time when you run into a situation where your world is crashing down around you, where you have that Elijah moment. And then what do you do? Well, you run, right? Like Elijah did. And where do people run? They run to drugs and alcohol to numb the pain. They run to sex where they feel alive and powerful and loved. They run to money that's going to be that wall of protection around them. They run home, crawl under the blanket, and binge watch Netflix. You run. And I hope you do run. But not to run away, but to run to God. To run to your Heavenly Father, he, who is the omnipotent creator of this entire universe. To run to your Savior, Jesus Christ, who loves you so much that he willingly died on the cross to wash your sins away and make you holy and righteous in the sight of God. That you run to the Holy Spirit, who is able to give you peace and comfort. That you run to God. Elijah ran. What are you doing here, Elijah? With that question, God was implying that Elijah shouldn't be on Mount Horeb. And so finally, God just simply said, go. Go back to where you came. That God is still in control, and God had work for Elijah to do. So go. God says the same thing to us, too. Go. No matter what you see on social media or on the news, God is still in control. And he has work for us to do. He's given us talents that we can use to the best of our ability and to his glory. So God says, go. And he also promises that he will, take, he will be with you as you go until that day that he takes you to be with him. And then we will no longer be here but there, in the presence of God. Amen. Please now join me in praying the Lord's Prayer. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. 
your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine on you and be gracious to you. The Lord look on you with favor and give you peace. Amen. Good morning, KML. <clears throat> a happy Monday to you all. Uh, blessed to have you with us again today. A couple of brief announcements. I don't have much more for you uh, than last week. Just first of all, thank you for being so great at chiming in on your attendance every single morning. Everybody's there, ready to go. We appreciate that. Keep sharing with us if you have technology issues. We're working to fix all of those and have been kind of working through that list, and you'll get information from Mr. Shanick or Mr. Albrecht. And then just a reminder, if you get support from the Learning Center, be looking out for that information to be shared with you. Ladies and gentlemen, we got four days before we get to enjoy a break. Uh, let's enjoy our time together. Uh, what a blessing to be a part of the KML family. Have a great day.